What's up guys? So it's dark right now. I'm trying to get the best lighting I can. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm in the car with my driver, bro. And he told me that he had to get a new iPhone because he was trying to get this girl's number. And she told him she do not talk to guys that got an iPhone 11. That's like, I ain't gonna lie. Sh being shallow, I don't think it's nothing wrong with being shallow, but that might be one of the most shallowest things I have ever heard, bro. So, after you got a new phone, did you get her number? No, I didn't. It was just like, I just saw her on the road. You said what? I just saw her on the, the road, you know? I just stopped the car and I tried to talk to her. Okay. And then, oh, and then after she said that, you never saw her again? I didn't know her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you was trying to put that game down on you? Yeah. So you was trying to rizz her up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. So rate your rizz 1 through 10. You got good rizz? Like you can rizz a girl up good or like? Oh, I, I mean, I, I'm i looking for the true relationship, man. Not someone looking for the money or that sport. You want to get the money relationship, then go to the holes. That's it. <laughs> money and get relationship. I believe, I, I, okay, okay. I fuck with what you're saying. So you saying pretty much like, you're not looking for a gold digger. Yeah, because you see, I, I get a lot of uh, girls over here in the car. Everyone, they, they, they talk a little bit. They say, yeah, we need a man who let us sit in the home. We don't work. We just take care of the work. What? They are thinking just for the money? No value for the money? Nah, man, it gotta be value for the man too. It gotta be value for the man. Like that's why I like to date. I like to date a woman who got their own bag. You know, yeah. like my like my woman, she got her own money. So you know, it's equal. You know what I'm saying? I got my money, she got her money. It should be equal, but it's not like that. Like the it, it, it sounds like tricky when they say, "Oh, we need some money." That's me. That's what you need. So look, y'all, we we vlog, and my girl just texted me and said, "You must be sleeping at the warehouse tonight." I said, hell nah. When she see this vlog, she gonna see we was goddamn working. I got I got that vlog that shit so I can get some goddamn pussy tonight. For real, they get that. Uh, we in there, Rico. Uh, uh, Rico. Uh, uh. Yeah, I see this shit. Got this behind the scenes of what goes on when you a brand owner, bro. Real work, you feel what I'm saying? This shit don't be no bullshit. Nigga be really working. Lady hell, you feel me? About three, four. Oh, let me get my focus right. It about three, four in the morning right now. Shit, we still working, you feel me? Yeah. That boy Cashy V over here, man. We got down. That nigga posing like he got down. Yeah, we shitting on niggas, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, nigga, talk. We shitting on niggas. Yeah, Charlie. I'm telling you that that pose, that pose though. That's that pose. I fuck with it for sure. That shit hard. I'm telling you. Nah, that shit is hard though. I'm telling you. Come. Well, look at the content. Look, y'all. Tell you, man, that picture, bit pit for real. Damn, yeah, see that shit made me want to stop taking professional pictures, but that, that's hard. Man, let me get out here, y'all. Y'all got enough for today, man. Y'all got enough, man. But remember, guys, word of advice: there ain't no you can't fuck that. Sleep for the sleep, sleep, fuck sleepers for the goddamn super, super rich. We got to work. You feel me? Got to work. Man, gotta keep my focus. Right? Gotta keep working. Work all the time. That's how you get money. You work all the time. You get money. We finna switch our outfits. Okay, hold on. Hold on. How about we either one of them? Beggars can't be choosers, got that. Good morning, y'all. Today, we got a lot to do because we are moving in our new warehouse, like you guys know. So, we ordered two new desks and stuff, and so we just basically gotta like organize everything or whatever and get all of that situated and stuff like that, so. It's early, and so what am I about to get ready to do? I'm about to get ready to cook some breakfast. Pancakes, period. Um, I'm gonna make some pancakes, some scrambled eggs. Have y'all ever had rice for breakfast? Because I'm kind of tempted to make some rice for breakfast. It's like sugary rice, but um, 
Honestly, I might be actually doing a little bit too much, but I might make that actually tomorrow. It's like a real country thing, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? If you're from the down south, do you know what I'm talking about? But we definitely had rice for breakfast. People be like, rice, rice, rice and eggs? I guess, for sure, rice and eggs, it's so good. But no, today I'm probably just make some pancakes, um, some chicken sausage. Y'all know I love my chicken sausage. And some scrambled eggs, maybe some grits or whatever if I'm feeling real freaky. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I'm about to get ready to start making breakfast. Um, shout out to everybody who took advantage of the 50% off sale for Original Betty Club. You guys have been going crazy, running it up, okay? And that's just that on that. So yeah, that's why we gotta, you know, work super hard and get all this stuff done or whatever in the warehouse so that we can get ready to, you know what I'm saying, continue to ship out orders and all this other stuff that we have going on. Um, as far as my ebook and everything and my Instagram for my cooking channel, y'all make sure y'all go follow how to, the number two, to keep them in, okay, on Instagram. And I'm gonna be teaching y'all all of my recipes there. Like I said, I've been recording, recording, recording. So, you know, y'all gonna get all of the exclusives and all of the first, you know what I'm saying, views at all of my recipes, period. Because I know that y'all be, y'all be wanting them recipes so, so bad. Um, but I mean, my recipes are really good. You know, my food ain't salty, my food ain't, my food is really, really good. With that being said, I'm about to get ready to make these pancakes. Um, the only way I feel like you can make a pancake, the crazy thing is, is that before, I never really even used to like pancakes because for whatever reason, pancakes used to make the roof of my mouth hurt. And I don't know if anybody else feel like that, but yeah, it used to make the roof of my mouth hurt. And I know what the trick is because I don't like too thick of a pancake. Like it can't be too much. It gotta be them thin with the crispy edges, period. So, you know, I'ma show y'all how to make them crispy edge pancakes, period. It's really simple. Um, but yeah, I'll show y'all like during the process or whatever. I just gotta get everything prepared for right now. And then also too, if you don't have one, y'all, buy y'all a little pancake little thing dispenser. When I tell you this is my best friend when making pancakes because it just really dispenses out the little batter or whatever like really evenly and you can stop it whenever you whenever you're ready to stop it. So this is really like I got this off of what Amazon I think. I just I stay on Amazon order and stuff or whatever. But this right here is a really good tool especially if you love pancakes and you make pancakes a lot. Now the thing is like I just said I don't even make pancakes a lot or whatever but see I be having it in my mind like oh you know what I'm going to make pancakes. So when I do make pancakes, I'm going to just get all the tools that I need. I'm a Virgo. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just we just strive for perfection every single time. So, you know, with that, we really do. Like, we really strive for perfection every single time. We just want to just, you know, be perfect. So, I bought this. And I'm actually, because I kind of cracked the code, because before I did not know how to make good pancakes. It will be too bready, like it'll be too thick. I don't like that. So with that being said, now I done cracked the code on how to make pancakes, make the perfect pancakes. I like my pancakes not too big, not too small. They can just be like the right size and that crispy edge. You gotta put that butter and it gotta be the crispy edge, period. Okay, but anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get into making these pancakes and making this breakfast so we can go ahead and get our day started. Coca is in our room with baby boy. He up in here chilling with our son. So yeah, let's actually go see what they got going on right now. Right quick. Right, yeah. He's good. talking. And he's good at the SMS part. He's good at the SMS part. He's good with the, like, knowing how to embed things and like, you know what I'm saying? Hey. When I was there, So he chilling with baby boy on his mm -hmm. lap. Oh, so you know how to Our do that type of stuff? chilling with him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah, you good. If you know how to do that type of stuff, then shit, fuck, we ain't never Say hi to YouTube. Bro. What's up, YouTube? I'm on the phone with B-Pace right now, talking some business, guys. Period. I'm about to make some breakfast, so you ain't got to worry about that. Oh, okay, yeah, uh huh. What's up, B Pace? So 
So, y'all hear him? Talking about, can you bring me to do do do? Can you bring me do 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 do? Like, boy, please. Okay? But, anyways, like I said, I'm gonna get started. So, I hope you guys are up. I hope y'all are ready. It's early up in the morning. Well, actually, it's not too, too early. I'm, like, actually starting breakfast late. But I don't care. As long as you get it done. You know what I'm saying? As long as you get it done, it don't matter. But, um, I've been up early. You know what I'm saying? I'm up, honestly, all the time. Like, very, very early. All the time due to our son. Like, I always, like, woke, woke up, like, a little early. But these days, child, I'm waking up, like, extra, extra early because of him. So, but I'm actually, like, thankful for it because, you know, like, I just feel like when you are able to get up early, for real, you can be able to start your day early and, you know what I'm saying, get back home and just chill, you know what I'm saying, and relax and just be able to enjoy the rest of the day once you get your work out of the way. So, I've been working all morning, so that's just why I just want to start my days. You know, it's 2024, like, we aiming to just be great. You know, when you think about successful people um, and people who are just, like, really, 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 really just embedded into their success, like, you know what I'm saying, they don't play about they, they work and they have, like, you know what I'm saying, they just have a lot of success. These people probably have really good structure. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we've been blessed to reach certain levels of success, but I want more. I'm hungrier. So, you know, I have to break certain bad habits that I have. You know what I'm saying? It's really important for me to break certain bad habits that I have. And, you know what I'm saying? And one of my habits was, you know what I'm saying, waking up a little late. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't be too, too late, but it wouldn't be, like, the earliest. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of more, like, you know what I'm saying, really, like, overly, like, successful people, they wake up at the crack of dawn like they don't play like you know what i'm saying like literally so they might wake up at like five o'clock six o'clock that's why when you wake up and y'all be out at the club and stuff like that or whatever you might start seeing people start running you going home at five o'clock mind you they just now getting up and they jogging they taking their dogs out they getting ready for the work day you know what i'm saying they getting ready to go make this money so you know i'm trying to hold myself accountable to that and i'm trying to just start my days off now i ain't gonna I ain't finna be waking up at no 5 o'clock because especially with, you know, having a child and stuff, our son, like, his schedule is a little, you know, it just be kind of like everywhere. So, it ain't no telling, but I will say, I'm waking up at like 7, 8 o'clock, that's, that's, that's what I like to do. I'm not gonna lie. I like doing that. Um, because it's like, by the time it gets 12 o'clock, it's like, dang, I done did so much already. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, let me stop talking. Um, because I'll talk y'all head off. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you the tea. I'll give you the tea. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready to go and start cooking breakfast. I hope y'all up. If you're watching this, get your ass up. Get your ass up and get ready to fucking work. Let's go. We gotta go get this money. If you sit there every single day and you saying, you know what I'm saying, you complaining about certain problems, and but then you look at your day and you say you know what i ain't even really did shit today that's not good today is what it's a tuesday it's a tuesday period get your ass up it's the beginning of the fucking week we ain't chilling we ain't chilling we ain't chilling to the weekend we ain't chilling to the weekend and even still we still working but at the end of the day you know what i'm saying you can get your little break on the weekend or whatever but if you're looking at this get your ass up get you some coffee some whatever the fuck you need type of energy whatever caffeine anything that you need to get yourself up get you some breakfast and get the work and get the and get the day started if you got to go to work get ready for that but you know what start writing out a plan or something that you want to of some goals that you want to accomplish this year do something just be active and just be you know what i'm saying like just just start working towards something different as well too you know what i'm saying just get active get active let's go i just want to show off my little body from after this is after pregnancy i'm only tomorrow will be a month so yeah i'll be a month postpartum um yeah we get into it get into it get into the get into it yeah uh, i just want to uh, get into it you, you, you. god loves me you know what i'm saying god loves me truly you know what i mean and honestly i've been also too like been taking it easy not trying to just like jump back into just you know, eating crazy or whatever the case may be. Honestly, my appetite has honestly changed since pregnancy. Like, I didn't have like crazy, crazy cravings anyway. So, with that being said, like, once I get cleared from my doctor or whatever, I am going to be, you know, jumping back into the gym. We're going to take y'all on our workout days and, you know, all of that or whatever. So, yeah, my son, he did my body good. He kept me, he kept mommy right. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I can't wait to get back into the gym. 
I've already been doing little light stuff or whatever here and there or whatever, but also while, you know what I'm saying, just, just, you know, regulating the eating part and just not, you know, not doing too much. So, um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? And just wait till I really, really get in the gym. Oh baby, this gonna be, okay? It's not even gonna be a joke. So, yeah. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. All right, y'all. So I got y'all here. Here we go. We're doing these pancakes. We got two cups of the pancake mix, okay? And then we're going to add in two cups. I'm sorry, one and one half cup of water. Is this one on top? But then again, you can use milk. Let me see. I forgot what I used the last time. I think I did a little bit of water, actually. I'm gonna do like one cup of water and then one half cup of heavy whipping cream or milk. I got some milk, so I'm gonna do like one half cup of milk. Just to add a little razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? And be like, just add water. So, boom. And then I'm gonna get my whisk, my handy dandy whisk, and I'm gonna stir that up. And you, you <laughs> with pancake mix, it's really important to do the right exact measurements and stuff because you don't want to get this twisted okay you don't want to you don't want to mess it up so we're gonna whisk it or whatever till it gets a smooth consistency you see that you see that smooth no lumps no bumps period no lumps no bumps so we're mixing this first and then we're gonna add in our vanilla. Now, let me tell you something. With my um, cooking and ebook and stuff or whatever, I'm gonna tell you like, y'all can use, what? One teaspoon, one tablespoon or whatever of each seasoning, but I don't know. I just realistically, cause I just eye stuff. So I don't really, you know what I mean? But you also have to season to taste because just because I might say one tablespoon of seasoning or whatever might not, be enough for you so you have to see the taste of how wherever you like you know what i mean so that's just that i'm gonna grab a little bit of ground cinnamon just to add up in here too okay so what i just added was vanilla extract nutmeg i got cinnamon dust this stuff is so good and then i got regular cinnamon or whatever and we just gonna mix that up in here look at how that looks look how that look y'all look how that look Try not to drop it. Ooh, them pancakes gonna be so good because it's like, you got them kind of like crispy up in here. I mean, <laughs> crispy. <laughs> it got it like creamy up in here. Like it looks like really like good. So, yeah. And see, my secret ingredient to my French toast and my pancakes is just a little bit of salt, pinch of salt, okay? We're gonna take like this much, literally, and just sprinkle it. I'm gonna do a little bit more, actually. And just sprinkle it over. Because I like the salty but sugary taste. So yeah. I like the taste, because it's so good. So you wanna make sure this is mixed well. And now you have your good old, show you your good old mix okay period smooth on out all right and that's just that let me set this back up all right so now i'm gonna rinse this out and wash this because i like to use this cup for when i'm mixing my eggs so Wash that out with soap, okay. So we're gonna get ready to put this in the pan. And you wanna get your pan ready. My pan right there. My pan is right here. 
Wow. Okay, period. So, when making crispy pancakes, you gotta use that butter, okay? That butter is no joke. I'm gonna hold in my pants. This is crazy. But that butter is no joke. People like to use oil, but all I say is just use, just use butter. You know what I mean? <laughs> And of course, I like to use that salted butter. Half stick, you can use unsalted or salted. I just like to pull out both because I do cook so much and I like to use um, salted, I mean softened butter. These are the chicken sausages that I have today. Y'all know usually I be using Delias, Delias, whatever. But today, these is alfresco chicken breakfast sausage. Cause y'all know I don't eat no swine and ain't never no pork up on my pork baby. And that's just, what? That don't, yeah, okay. We'll be right back after these messages.